we are here gathered to examine one important question. <coughs> Whether monopoly price is always higher than pure com perfect competition price, competitive price. Is monopoly price higher than competition price? Answer will be yes. Monopoly price is always higher than competition price. Why? Because under perfect competition, equilibrium price is determined by demand and supply equality. Under perfect competition, equilibrium price is determined by demand and supply forces. Under perfect competition, <coughs> equilibrium price is determined at the point of intersection <coughs> between demand curve and supply curve. And that is in the diagram which we have seen here and that is uploaded in Facebook. There is a need to check in Facebook diagram. Diagram tells us that equilibrium price under monopoly will be OP1 and under perfect competition price is OP. Monopoly price is determined by equality between MR and MC and MC cuts MR from below. That gives us OP1 price and OM output. On the other hand, under perfect competition, intersection between demand and supply curve at point E gives us OP equilibrium price under, under perfect competition. And what is output under perfect competition? O, OQ. Look on the board. What is the output under perfect competition? OQ. OQ. One thing very important to take into consideration that MR and AR under monopoly downward sloping. AR curve is demand curve. AR curve is demand curve. And MC curve is supply curve. In microeconomics theory, supply curve is related to industry and marginal cost curve is related to firm. So there are several firms they determine output on the basis of MC equal to MR and that output is aggregated under supply curve. So if we draw supply curve we will draw supply curve from MC. So MC is in the industry represents supply curve. So in the same diagram we can draw third diagram. First diagram is related to perfect competition. Second diagram is related to monopoly. And third diagram is combination of first and second. And what we get there? That supply curve is also MC. Demand curve is also AR. First we take MR is equal to MC and perpendicular passes through the equilibrium decides OM monopoly output and OP1 monopoly price. Then we come to the perfect competition demand is equal to supply and this gives us OP price and what is the output? OQ output. So monopoly price is higher than competition proved. Monopoly output is lower than competition proved. If output is less, the GDP will be less. If GDP will be less, economic growth rate, rate will be less. So monopoly is retarding factor of economic growth. Monopoly is hindering factor in economic growth because monopoly firm decreases GDP. On the other hand, perfect competition is growth promoting market because output is more than competition. 
because GDP is more than the monopoly. And so economic growth will increase at a faster rate under perfect competition and at lower rate under monopoly. Therefore, in every country, there is anti-monopoly laws. In every country, there is anti-monopoly laws. What does it mean? That break monopoly firm, break monopoly firm by legislation, compel monopoly firm to break into four or five, so that there will be competition. By legislation, we can break monopoly firm. And as a buyer, we can unite. By court. By court the product, which is under monopoly, charging higher price. Such types of buyers association may be formed to work against monopoly. And finally, government may establish price regulatory commission, which will decide that if monopoly firm has to exist, they have to sell at price equal to normal profit. If monopoly firm say yes, then they will be allowed to produce. If say no, then monopoly firm will be nationalized by the government. We have seen that when we got independence, all commercial banks were under private sector in India from 1947 to 1969. In 1969, government Congress government, Srimati Indira Gandhi was Prime Minister. She decided to nationalize all banks because they were giving 2% loan to the farmer and 98% to the industrialist. Banks were nationalized because banks were making only profit, not seeing the true picture of the problem of the economy. Farmers were neglected, the small scale industry were neglected, the students were neglected, loans were given only to the big capitalist industries. Nationalization is the method to remove monopoly from the market. Government monopoly will be established. In India, Indian Railway is a monopoly of government. And therefore, free riders enjoy railway without ticket. Governmental monopoly has one aim, that is welfare motive. But private monopoly has only one aim, profit maximization. Therefore, the policy under WTO is to remove monopoly and develop perfect competition market in the country as well as in the world. How many numbers of countries are member of WTO? 167, 168. Check. Check it from Google. So all firms under countries which are member of the WTO will discourage monopoly and will increase free competition, will increase perfect competition, will try to establish perfect competition market because perfect competition market is ideal market. 164 members. 164 members of WTO. And 23 observers. Observer. I think the number is more than that. Check from the Google, WTO. WTO has 164 members and 23 observer government. 23 observer government. Yes, sir. Uh, 164 member. members. 164. So WTO said that monopoly is a not good type of market. Perfect competition is a good type of market. Perfect competition market is ideal market. And therefore, perfect competition should be encouraged. 
164 member of WTO. So we conclude that monopoly price is always higher than competition price in the market. Therefore, there is a need to encourage competition. In India, competition commission is established to increase competition among the firm, healthy competition that will reduce price, that will increase output, GDP will increase, economic growth will be higher under perfect competition than that of under monopoly. That's all. Thank you.